Because I do have a question. I feel like, you know, it can kind of wrap this thing up in a bow. Should we spin the block? Not necessarily on a sexual tip, because we, we talk heavily about sex, right? Mm-hmm. When it comes to relationships, do you feel like it makes sense to spin the block? To sit down and be like, okay, I went, I was in a relationship with this person. It didn't work out for whatever reason, et cetera, et cetera. And now the opportunity presents itself. Because we've we seen how this whole thing with Nelly and Ashanti happened. Uh, Nelly was apparently some type of womanizer, cheats, ex- does what he does. And now he come back 12 years later and said, I'm going to do everything. I'm going to be your forever. And she was like, oh my God, ooh, baby. And she said, gave him a baby. And all that, you know what I'm saying? So maybe, I mean, now she got her forever. She got her fairy tale. So th- is it worth have- spinning the block? Should we spin the block? May I answer that? Yes. Of course. I would say generally no. If there isn't a um, good reason, more so like it's something that you prayed about and God has confirmed to you that that's where you should go. And I only say that because I learned the hard way. I kept the hope for love. I kept the hope for, well, maybe he's going to get it right this time. Baby, this is like the 15th, 78th uh, time, you know, so I've I've done that with more than one person. And when I know that I was already taught to not go back, because why, why didn't you get it right the first time? Let's talk about that. Let's think about that. What is it that happened between us to whereas we're no longer apart? As to why you couldn't get it right the first time. Was it me? Was it you? And now with what you're presenting to the new table, are you like those things that we had issues with? Have you changed? Mm -hmm. You know, you want me to, you want to be the leader. Are you able to be the leader? Because when you are leading, are you following God? Because that's Mm -hmm. the only way that I can then follow you. So Mm -hmm. am I seeing a change? Am I seeing it being worth it and be giving you a second chance? But generally I would say no, unless it's something I mean, like they really change in ways that's going to best benefit you as well as have you prayed about it? So let, let, me, let me ask you a question. I want to ask you a question on that, Carrie. We let heart lead us, but we have a mind. We have a brain for a reason. The heart is dumb. Dumb, dumb, mm-hmm. did it? Dumb. <laughs> so can I ask you a question on that, right? Um, you say that unless the man has actually so checked, because Honestly, I truly believe that men spend the block more than women do. My personal um, mm-hmm. beliefs on that, right? I do believe what y'all said. Um, the time we yeah. Uh, well, okay. I wouldn't say that. But I believe men spend the block more than often, right? And and when we do, and you guys choose us, the question to your... Well, the question I have to what you said, right? Mm-hmm. Um. How do you know that this man has changed without giving him time and time again? And that's where I see like a lot of women. Now I know I asked the question, but I'm still talking my shit. How do you know time and time again that this man has truly changed while you gave yourself to him time and time again to figure out if he's changed? So how do you know you keep your legs closed? Um. Because what ends up happening is we meet and we re-meet and we re-encounter your representative over and over again. So you show me what it is you want me to see until Um. you get what you want. But to whereas if I just slow down just a little bit and tell my hot twat, hey, we got to be at the chill just for a second. (laughs) Give us just a second. If we we have that conversation and I just kind of slow down just a little bit, keep my legs closed until you get tired of showing me your representative, then I can mm. see who you really are, nigga. Mm. <laughs> and that was for me. I'm tired of getting it wrong. I want to get it right. I'm tired of getting wrong. That was for me. I'm going to tell you, look, I'm going to tell you like this. A rose will make it where you can't have somebody's dusty son talking to you all kinds of sideways. I ain't got to talk you. I got so I got Rosanna <laughs> at home. I ain't got to worry about one of your dusty sons talking to me crazy. Like, excuse well, me. Well, you got every month of Noni. She got all the things. She got all the things. Noni got all the things. Noni, I guess it depends on how you're choosing to 
spin the block. Everything doesn't, it doesn't have to necessarily come with the commitment of getting back together. If, you know, he chose, okay, we just, you know, yeah. So why are you we talking? Understand. I mean, I'm like, why would you even entertain it? You I'm wouldn't saying. even think about it. it well, it ain't about entertaining. It, it ain't about entertaining. It's about, you know, okay, you got an itch and he scratch and so do I. So, you know, it's just like, okay, well, you know, do whatever you're going to do. I'm going to do what I'm going to do. And then... I see right, like, which is why um, most men, Carrie, I hear what you're saying, but if a man wants to spin the block, like the likelihood is he's trying to clap cheeks. So if you're telling me you're going to keep your legs closed, I get it. Fine. Cut ties. Because this is where I do believe women have that control. You guys control sex. We don't. Uh, we don't. We have no control over that. We yeah. want it all the time. I always say this, right? Whoever wants something the most, the opposite controls it. So, you knowing that you guys control that, then yeah, cut that man off. But why aren't women just doing that? Why are women getting so emotionally invested in these men that they know ain't mm -hmm. A lot of times, mm -hmm. and then they keep giving themselves over and over to them. Well, here's the oh, thing: boy. That it. a lot of times, I'm gonna be, social media plays a major part. The way society has changed. Let's think about how it was with ten years ago when you were seeing somebody dating somebody it wasn't this whole thing on being on social media right so it's like we're never going to get nothing if a if a woman chooses to be single and just has fun every now and then she's miserable right but in reality that's not true a single person could be the most happiest thing in the world and they got that person that they can tap hey sir ma'am um i like some you know <laughs> so it, Please, it's, sir. I have some more <laughs> yeah, exactly. So with that, a twist. <laughs> so <laughs> we need to stop this narrative that because I'm gonna put, be honest, society plays a part in a lot of ways that everybody thinks now. Mm -hmm. A lot of how we think now. When we do, and I'm not saying everybody. I said a lot what we think because it's oh, you can't be in relationships. Oh, the side piece wins. The the uh the one who isn't cooking and cleaning gets the ring and the, it's so much that plays into it so if somebody does decide to go back to someone after they've been broken up and apart that doesn't mean that they're desperate it could be something they've seen in that person that they've seen have changed mm -hmm. because it's, we all change and i do agree if you do if you don't have sex because you know once we do have that intimacy right there it's like oh he loves me and he doesn't mm -hmm. say he he didn't love me. He just said he just wanted us to have fun, but that's not what we heard. We heard that oh, he 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 loved me. He want to be with me. He he ready to put a ring on it. That's not what he said. He was like, let's you know, let's take it slow. Let's have fun. We done picked out our wedding colors. We done picked out the house. We done moved to a whole other thing. But that's not what he said. He said, yeah, a lot of women definitely um, hear what they want to hear. That's not yeah, true. Know each other again. But I think but I think Terry touched that point in the sense of saying like <laughs> sex can cloud your judgment. You know what I'm saying? Like, especially us as women, we're emotional creatures. And even to your point, Noni, you touched on it where it's like, yeah, you can hear a whole lot of things that have not been said, or you're just feeling it because now you, the two the two bodies have become one. And, and you know, you'll be here hearing shy in the background talking about the sun and the moon and the heavens and whatnot. And ain't none of that happened. Like right. you you got turned out and now you you demonized. You just, you know, you seeing Dead. You know what I'm saying? On some penis and now like, you know, you got blinders on. So, I mean, I think that's why it's really important that if you are going to spin the block, if the, the block is going to be spun, yes, put put that man on a little bit of a little or a little bit probation. You're going to have to work for this thing. You know what I'm saying? You have to put some time and work in. And I'm going to just leave it. So, I, I actually want to even bring like a psych um twist to it because um you got to think about attachment styles as well there are some people whose attachment styles like they're codependent types trauma mm -hmm. bonding types mm -hmm. and all that so they will attach themselves and they just can't be alone mm -hmm. you know so those are things where you got to kind of assess for yourself like mm -hmm. you know those are the ones that who cannot be alone that tend to kind of okay i don't care who the person is just once i got a body there 
and I'm not by myself, you know? Mm -hmm. That yeah. and I also know people, if they don't have enough, if, if their partner doesn't come with a level of drama or come with a level of like, so pitch, push back, like if they, they feel like their partner's too boring or it's boring. Too crazy, and it's like they can't, they can't be there. I know a chick that I swear in the time that I had an ex and hadn't had a relationship, she had had like five different relationships. And I mean, had moved from here, moved to out of state. Uh, I think she might be in Georgia now. Like, I mean, I was like, well, hot diggity damn. And she's not the only one. I, I know, look, it, it's, it's wild crazy about how, like you were saying, like when people attach in that way, it's like they just can't help but have someone that's a really good point too. Like, That's yeah. really good have point. to be in a and like I said, and sometimes that relationship even has to come with a level of toxicity. I was about to say healthy toxicity, but that's just oxymoron. I can't yeah. be comfortable with. You know, just comes with a level of toxicity that makes them feel comfortable and and alive in their relationship. Like they don't even know. They they've had such toxic and unhealthy relationships for so long that they don't even understand how to flourish in one that doesn't include that level of drama and and intake that's unnecessary. So yeah. you know, that's a that's a really that's a really being afraid thing. of being alone, mm -hmm. right? It's and I'm like, and I'm like, that's that. you, you can, a lot of people that need somebody, and it a lot of times it's that bed warmer, like during the day they'll be fine because you know everybody's at work during the day. It's that when it starts to get dark outside, it's like, I know women love a little toxic. We do, sometimes. Just a little bit. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, just, just, just a little, little bit. I only take, I only I take, I only take my toxic in the bed. Interesting. <laughs> but it's one of those things, it's during the day, you could be perfectly fine. And that's someone with attachment styles. They know during the day, they're good because they're at work. But once it's time, that, that five o'clock, and it's like, oh, I'm home alone. Who can I, who can I run to? Who bed? Mm -hmm. I can't, who can be in my bed? Because mm -hmm. I don't want to be in this empty space. Yeah, but if we, really, if we really want to be honest, that really has more to do with them not being able to be with themselves. Yeah, right. In their own thoughts. I, I'm amazing company for me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I'm out by myself and I can be cute and I can and have uh, the most amazing time. A lot of people, once you, you have to be able to be comfortable with being with yourself. You should be, you should never be alone because you should be your best company. And anything else to that should be an additive, should be a bonus. Right. And a lot of people haven't learn how to be comfortable with themselves mm -hmm. in a way that allows them to to be comfortable in being by themselves alone shouldn't equal lonely and that's the major right. thing a lot of people mm -hmm. do that because you're single and i do say, for I do, real. not the case mm -hmm. i do so one of my saying is into me i see before i could be intimate with my mate so i need to have intimacy with myself and people automatically think intimacy is sex Baby, if you look up intimacy, mm -hmm. it's not just sex, okay? Can you can't just sex. Yourself. That's why Biggie was attracted. I mean, Kim was attracted to Biggie. Yeah. Because and it was intimacy they had. It was yeah. that it, it's that feeling. Yo, I have amazing intimacy with myself. I take myself out on dates. I enjoy being by myself. I love cuddling in my bed. I don't need that extra person. I want that person, mm -hmm. but right. I don't need that person. And when I need that person and want that person, I want to make sure it's a need and a want together. I need you the same way you need me, and I want you the same so, way you want. So can Not I ask y'all a question? Let me I ask y'all a question. You can't ask y'all a question along these lines. Yeah, I'm gonna ask. No, no, because I still hear cap. I hear hints of cap in this, right? So <laughs> let me let me ask you a question, a right? Let me ask y'all a question. Why are y'all acting like this? There's, there's, there's not gonna come a point that's you know I hear dating yourself and finding yourself and loving yourself and I don't like that song. And I use stuff. my I got my rose and I got my Rose uh, Samuel will save your life. Rose Rose Samuel, I got Rose Samuel. You know what I'm saying? Rose I got my, my my 
My plastic dickies all over the place. Oh, right? no. I get it. Oh, wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who said that? I, I get it. So far. Cap. We don't went too far. Ain't nobody said they had a, a the golf golf. Well, what's the question? Like, what's the question? So my 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 <laughs> question, my question is this, ladies. Why are we not acting like there's gonna be a very soon point after you had all of that self-love that you yourself is gonna require some intimacy? You yourself well, is gonna thinking, require that's what I said. What sex. I said. And the rose is not gonna cut it forever. No, right? that's not what I was saying. But the rose wasn't cut it forever. You the rose healthy. was so that you're not just giving yourself to anybody mm -hmm. out of control. Right, right, right. You're allowing yourself to be able to have that 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 release that you need in that moment, but still being able to not go out in the world and just be like, you know, what's convenient spinning the block for something that you know that you right. should spend in the block to. It just makes it where we not out here giving up the buns to some of you dusty ass. Just, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. It, makes, it makes it where we're being more responsible with, with the vagina. It's, safe. it's safer too. Monologues and dialogues. Mm -hmm. Sometimes and then I mean, what about this What about what about this comment? Why are y'all hanging on the rose? Sometimes we sometimes we allow because dialogue to happen with the wrong person. When you have a vagina monologue, it makes it where we can talk to y'all because your eyes are up here. Let's talk. Well, let me let me ask it. Let, let me ask the sexologist this question: Do is this a fact that a woman can get overstimulated by using sex? Sex. <laughs>